Hey there, it's Catherine from CatherPuller.com. We're going to use the Tropically Yours Stamp of Approval Collection today. Mostly we're going to use these Cabana Tiles dies. Have you seen them yet? Ah, there they are. <laughs> so many fun things you can do with them. Here is a snapshot at some of the projects I've made so far. I've done some embossing and direct to paper techniques and this really cool kind of Miami Vice-ish feel card. We're gonna do foiling. So toner sheets, they are peel and stick. You're gonna wanna use those. Cut a little piece of foil and then layer them inside uh, a transfer sheet or what is the word for this? You know the word for this. Leave it in the comments. I can't remember it, <laughs> but it's like, a oh, a carrier sheet, I think it's what it's called. Guess what? It's just a piece of computer paper. <laughs> so you're gonna sandwich the foil, uh, shiny side up on top of the toner sheet and just send it right through your laminator. This is what happens. I'm gonna peel that top off. Now guess what? It didn't totally stick all over the place and all of the spots. So I'm just gonna send it through again. Uh, it takes just a minute to send it through and then when you're done, dun, 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 you get basically a gorgeous piece of foiled cardstock. So cool, and don't you love that reflection? <laughs> so I'm gonna line up all my little cabana tile dies and I'm just going to run it through my uh, die cutting machine. And then I have all these gorgeous pieces of die cut foil and all the little cabana tile shapes. So you want to kind of leave it as is, so to speak, so that all your pieces stay together and you don't have all these little triangles and odd shaped pieces that you don't know which ones they went in. So I'm just using a little pokey tool and poking out all the little pieces so that they kind of stay in that sheet and then I'm going to use those to die cut another piece. This color combination is from our spa line. These are a muted sophisticated color palette and I'm using rose petals. I'm just really lightly swiping it over my cardstock. You could also use ink blending tools to get this a similar effect as this, but I'm just going direct to paper with this. Like I said, I'm using a really light hand, and when you do that, the colors will blend really nicely for you. Uh, if you're too heavy handed with it, it's gonna give you kind of more splotch and streak marks on there. So if you go light handed, you'll have good results and you'll be able to blend colors in between. We have the foam ink pads, so ink transfer is really beautiful. Uh, the foam transfers ink to stamps and to cardstock really easily so you get really good coverage. And now I'm using sauna and this one is a darker color and it I, it looks to me like I have a very inky ink pad there so that's another thing to think about how saturated your ink pad is so I'm, I'm getting a little bit more streakiness there but I'm gonna go ahead and go back in and blend it out and work the colors in together and since our ink pads stay wet for a short amount of time then it gives you a really good blend and it's easier to blend these colors all right so we're going darker with the mandarin spice and I'm just gonna continue sponging and blending and working these colors together now here is my end result, and I'm gonna go ahead and set this up on my die cut machine, send the Cabana Tiles dies through the die cut, and then we'll have sponge pieces and we'll have gold foil pieces. So the gold, gold foil pieces have adhesive on the back, which makes it really nice. So it's basically a sticker. So I'm just gonna start building my background here. Okay, so adhering these, the gold foil has adhesive already on the back, which is super convenient, but I cut out this cardstock without putting an adhesive sheet on the back. You may have those in your craft arsenal that you can just kind of make a sticker sheet, but if you don't, uh, a little bit of liquid glue onto a scrap piece of paper is a really easy way to get these skinny little pieces adhered. So just dip, dip your piece onto the glue that's on your paper and it really helps cut down on getting gluey fingers. Now it won't eliminate it completely. I still am going to pick up things on my fingers that I didn't mean to because they're gluey, but it definitely helps. A really nice solid gold hexagon added to the design and then I'm gonna take my liquid glue and just fill in the empty spaces. I'm gonna grab my coordinating sponged piece and then I'll use my little pokey tool just to push those little pieces out right on top of the open die cut and I'll just kind of finagle them down in there and it's a really easy way to do this inlaid die cut technique. Now here it is all done and we're ready for the sentiment. I'm gonna use my Misty for this. I'm going to do some masking on my sentiment. So I have the sentiment from the Fearless Pursuit stamp set. It's be fearless and pursue 
what sets your soul on fire. I love that, but I just want to use part of it. I'm going to use Be Fearless, and one of our creative team members did a little bit of stamp surgery on this one and cut off Be Fearless. Uh, I didn't want, I could, but I didn't choose to this time, so I just masked it off. I took post-it tape and just kind of fed it in there. I just kind of squished it in, kind of tucked it around, and was able to mask off the rest of the sentiment. And I got it stamped on there great, with icing on the cake ink. And then I'm gonna take my chocolate cardstock and I'm going to cut out the coordinating dies for a fearless pursuit. I have these fabulous palm trees, two different sizes, and then I'll be able to add them straight to the card. I also saved a piece from my sponge piece that I cut all those cabana tiles out of, and I'm just going to add this to the bottom of a chocolate piece of cardstock, a little nice accent there. And then for my stamped or my inlaid die cut piece, I'm just adding some adhesive or dimensional adhesive on the back, and then that will pop up and give a really nice kind of uh, dimension to there. And then we'll add on the palm trees. And I love these die cut with the dark color, so it's just a silhouette. I just think it gives such an amazing, um, I don't know, it's an amazing effect, and I, I really, really love it another look at the one I did with the party collection of colors. I used a little bit of party dress, flirty fuchsia, something borrowed, and lime rookie. And then these I did on a Facebook or a YouTube live this week. And I used the Midas Touch Embossing Glitter from WOW. And those are the those are the cards that I've made with this collection. Hope you guys enjoyed. And be sure to head over to my blog. The link will be below so that you can see all of these up close and personal. I have photos, supply lists, and the whole shebang. Thanks for being here. Have an awesome day. See you guys soon.